Hi, and welcome back to Valley Kids Online. I am your host, Pastor Jim. But of course, if you've watched us before, you already know that. But here's something you may not know. We're starting a Christmas trivia quiz in five seconds. Five, four, are you ready? Three, you better have your head ready. Two, oh no, one, and here we go. Okay, here's the way the quiz works. I'm gonna give you a question and then I'll give you about five to 10 seconds to answer the question out loud before I give you the answer myself. Are you ready? It doesn't matter because here we go. Question number one, who was Jesus's mother? Who was Jesus's mother? Now I'm gonna give you about five seconds because you should know this one, I hope. Jesus's mother, of course, was Mary, that's correct. All right, who was it that came to Mary and told her that she would have a baby and name him Jesus? Who told Mary that message? Now think hard about this one. I'm looking for a name. All right, and the answer is Gabriel the angel. That's right, uh, not just any angel, it is Gabriel the angel that tells Mary that she will have a baby and name him Jesus. All right, question number three, who was Jesus's father? Jesus's father was? Okay, hopefully you knew this was a little bit of a trick question because Joseph, who is Mary's husband, isn't really Jesus's father, not biologically. He's sort of like an adopted dad because Jesus's father is, hopefully you got this, God, of course, yes. Mary had never married Joseph. She was not pregnant by Joseph. God's Spirit gave Mary Jesus, and that is why Jesus' father is really God, and then Joseph was sort of his earthly adopted father. All right, great job. Question number four, what town was Joseph and Mary originally from? I'm looking for the name of a town or little city. What town was Joseph and Mary originally from? And the answer is Nazareth. That's right, little tiny town of Nazareth. All right, keep going, here we go. Who was Mary's cousin who also was pregnant at the same time Mary was pregnant? What's the name of Mary's cousin who was pregnant along at the same time that Mary was pregnant? And by the way, just a hint, she gives birth to a little boy, names him John. Her name was Elizabeth, that's right, Elizabeth. Elizabeth had John, who became known as John the Baptizer later on. All right, you're doing well, great. Here we go, next question. What town did Mary and Joseph have to travel to and the town in which they eventually had Jesus? What town did Mary and Joseph have travel to and eventually have Mary and Jesus? I mean, have Jesus. And the answer, hopefully you know this, it's part of a Christmas carol, O Little Town of Bethlehem. That's right, Little Town of Bethlehem. Bethlehem was a pretty well-known town, even though it was very small, just a tiny village, but it was pretty well-known. Um, and that leads to our next question. Bethlehem was known as the city of blank. The city of blank. Now in that blank, I'm looking for the name of a person, a very famous person that also was from Bethlehem. And that's why, why Bethlehem was known as the city of blank. What's the name that goes in the blank? Any ideas? The answer is Bethlehem was known as the city of David. That's right, the shepherd king. He was a shepherd, but he was a king. And he was also one of Joseph's great, 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 great um, grandfathers as well. Um, Mary's great, great grandfather, excuse me. Um, all right, here we go. Next question. Who was the evil king that heard about baby Jesus being born and then ordered all the two-year-olds in Bethlehem, two-year-olds and under, to be killed? who was the evil king that tried to kill baby Jesus by killing all babies in Bethlehem two years old and under. Any ideas? His name was evil king Herod. That's right, Herod. And because of that, Joseph and Mary had to get out of Bethlehem fast. And they were warned by an angel to do that. So here's your next question. What country did Joseph and Mary flee to 
in order to escape Herod and his killing of the babies? What country did Mary and Joseph and Jesus flee to to escape from Herod? And the answer is Egypt. That's right, Egypt is where they went. And that's where they had to stay until Herod had finally was no longer king. Well, I hope you did a great job because I think that was all the questions, believe it or not. So count up how many you got right. If you got one or more right, you get two thumbs up. That's how easy I'm being on you today. Hey, great job. Here we go. Let's draw something together. All right, it is time to grab our markers or our pens or pencils or crayons, and we are going to draw today an angel from the Christmas story. So we are going to start with our eyes, because that's the easiest thing, and the eyes are just simply two circles. That's all they are. One circle and two circles together. Now remember, they should be similar in size and not too far apart and not too close together, but actually you can make them however you'd like to, but make them similar in size. And then we're gonna draw inside little circles and we will color those circles in just slightly and leave a little bit of white inside each one. It's okay if it doesn't look perfect. Remember, you're just having fun. Now this angel is gonna be a little younger and when we draw younger cartoon characters, we put their noses up instead of down. See, like that? Looks like a little tiny uh, frown, almost like their mouth, but it's actually the nose. So you should have two circles, with circles inside those circles, and a little tiny frown right there. Now, before we get to his smile, we are going to draw his face. And his face will start about halfway down from his eye, and come down and around like this. See that? Just like that. Start about middle of his eye, come down and around, almost a little like a horseshoe shape. Great job. And now we can add his smile, which is just a little smile from corner to corner and a little hook on each side to give him some chubby cheeks on each side. Great job, but we are moving right along. You've got your eyes and your nose and your mouth and your face. We should give him some ears and we're gonna actually bring his ears right here, a little bit next to his nose. Just right there, we'll put his ears on both sides of his face. And if you have a really thin marker or a thin, thin pencil, you can even put a little inside part of his ear there, just a little inside curl. I'm not going to because my marker is a little too fat for that. All right, let's give him some hair. We're gonna start up here at the top and we're just gonna go one, two, and three. Just like that. One, two, three. Now you'll notice mine are different directions and that's okay. We don't mind. And then we're gonna close off his hair by putting this on the side and come down to the top of his ear right there. Great job. Now, on this side, we're going to get a little bit more of a hump and come down to the top of his ear there. Good. We've got hair and a big, uh, big curl here of a hair. And then right here, we're just going to show that his hair comes down on the side right there. Good. You can probably already see that he looks like a young little boy angel almost. However, we don't know everything about angels in the Bible. I'm going to give him eyebrows here. So you can put them even in their hair just to give them a little bit of an eyebrow. The Bible tells us that angels are angelic beings created in heaven by God, but sometimes they reveal themselves in human form. So we don't know everything about angels, but this angel is going to be our Christmas angel. So now we're going to draw his neck and we'll give him a small neck right here, just like that. And now begins the beautiful robe portion of the angel. So this angel's robe goes out and down like this. That's his sleeve. So come out with his shoulder and down to his sleeve right there. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Out and down, just like that. So you should have two weird looking skinny arms coming down this way, but that's just the top of his sleeves. And now we're gonna curl around and then come back up here and attach those right there. That's sort of the end of his sleeve 
Good. Same thing on this side. You're going to curl around. And then you're going to start up here and come down to the end of his sleeve. There, now we're getting sleeves in here. This is working much better. Now, you can simplify his hand if you want to. You can just put a little nub right here on the end. Or you could do like me. I'm going to come out and then go one, two, three, and four. Right there. Bring that in just a little bit. That's a little weird hand. That's okay. And the same thing on this one. We're going to do a thumb and then do one, two, three, four, and in. Right there. Oh, my hands don't match. That's okay. We're just having fun. And now we're going to add his robe. Bottom half of his robe comes down and out. Just like this. Right there and out. Very good. So he should look like he almost had like a gown on. And then we'll close that robe off at the end. And we won't even draw his feet. Now there you go. There's his, the angel that we are drawing. The only thing I'm going to add is wings. Now, like I said, we don't know that all angels had wings. We do know there are angelic beings in heaven that do have wings. So we're going to give this one wings, which is traditionally the way we draw Christmas angels. So go out and around, just like that. It's the first part of his wing. And then you're going to add some pieces here. If an angel did have wings, I don't know that it would look like this. But we're going to pretend that is how it looks. And if you want to put some lines in here, you can do that as well. But make sure those lines come back in. I'm going to leave mine empty because you want to color it later on. And that is what we'll do. And this side, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go out about the same angle. Hook it in. Hook it in. Hook it in. And back in again. Right there. there you go. Connect here, connect here, and there is your Christmas angel. And he is singing good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. So I'm going to put some music notes right in here, and you can add those too if you'd like. Just to say that he is singing to the shepherds that God has come to earth. And hopefully you'll have an angel very similar to this, and you can then take your crayons and color it. All right, great job. All right, well, each week we've been talking about a specific candle that is lit during the Advent season. And the candle we're talking about today is the candle of love. That's right, the candle of love. Each week, one candle is lit to remind us of a specific characteristic of the gospel story. And of course, when we think about baby Jesus lying in that manger, we are certain that Mary and Joseph looked into that baby's eyes and loved him. I can remember so well when my children were born. Now, I have five kids, and I remember watching each one of my children being born and it was the most amazing experience in the world. And to realize that suddenly there is another human being right there in the room looking at you and trying to communicate in some way, it is an amazing feeling. And I'm sure that Mary and Joseph loved Jesus. Even though Joseph wasn't Jesus' biological father, I am certain that he loved Jesus. But here's the biggest thing. When we think about love at Christmas, we don't want to remember just our love for each other. We want to remember that Jesus was the ultimate gift of God's love to humanity. When God looked down and saw, which he knew ahead of time, but he saw that man was trapped in sin. You and I could not help ourselves. We couldn't get better. We just kept messing up over and over again. God gave us the best gift, a gift of love. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5 that God shows or demonstrates his love toward us in that while we were sinners, Christ died for us. In other words, if you want to see if God loves you or not, you don't need to look at today, but you need to look backwards in the past. To that day, almost 2,000 years ago, even more than that, when God came to earth as a baby and was born in a stable. And the message was proclaimed to shepherds, but the message was for everyone. Jesus had come to save us from our sins. 
So today, as we think about the candle of love, my encouragement to you is to remember and let this warm your heart that God loves you more than anyone else in the world has ever loved you. And no matter where you're at, no matter who you are, God's love is deeper than you realize. And if you want to know how much God loves you, simply look in that manger and see baby Jesus because God sent us the gift of his son. And that gift was a gift of love. Hey, thanks so much for joining us for Valley Kids Online. I am so glad you joined us today. And I hope you'll tune in next week. We are actually going to finally draw baby Jesus together. At least we're going to draw a baby and say that that's what Jesus looked like. So I hope you'll tune in next time for Valley Kids Online.